You mentioned the synthetic fuel, it'd be net zero. This is something that's already in development. I know Porsche and Lamborghini are talking about this as a way to save the internal combustion engine uh, car because people like the sound of internal combustion engines, especially when it comes to sports cars. You know, you got the new Mustang, that's a V8. It's not electric coming out now. Uh, is this a goal for Ford? Is this something that might make its way onto the street as well? Synthetic fueled internal combustion engine vehicles in the future? Yeah, ab absolutely it will. All right, guys, so welcome back. Thank you for hanging out, spending a few moments here with me. If you're new, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now, I just started a Rumble channel, so anybody that's out there that uses Rumble, uh, give me a follow. I believe I have eight so far, and I'm currently in the process of actually moving over a lot of the videos that I have on this channel, and also, too, I'll be making exclusive videos on Rumble. Uh, so I'll put a link to the channel in the description. Definitely give me a follow. We'll see how that plays out. Now, I was watching a interview with uh, Ford Performance and how they're they're actually teaming up with Red Bull to kind of re-enter the Formula One racing. And they were kind of touching on some really good topics. Number one was hybrid technology using electrical assist in, uh, you know, performance wise and efficiency, improving efficiency. But really the topic that uh, I, most interest me was synthetic fueling. Sure, but we also know we're going to have combustion engine vehicles in different parts of the world for a long time. And we all we want to do that in the most responsible way that we can. So that's part of what attracted us to take this serious look at Formula One was their commitment to the sustainable fuel and to a, a net uh, carbon zero future. Synthetic fueling can not only run efficient, can also uh, improve performance. Uh, and you see a lot of companies that are now starting to invest millions and billions of dollars into synthetic fuel. And the reason for this is because it seems to be the most natural transition into a cleaner, more environmentally friendly uh, option, as opposed to jumping into all electric. <laughs> it looks as though Ford is going to be taking that kind of technology and moving it and trickling down that technology into the, the Mustang and the other performance minded vehicles that are in that lineup. And so with a cleaner, more sustainable fueling, you can then start expanding on the V8 and other performance hybrid technology. And I think this is great news for anybody that's a gearhead out there. Really, the last few months has been kind of doom and gloom, and I've been kind of keeping my eyes open for not only synthetic fueling options, but also to hydrogen combustion and any other alternative to electrical vehicles. I am still not a fan of all electric cars. I believe that uh, they can be hacked. I I believe that the charge up time is abysmal. I don't like the fact that anything that I own that's battery operated, the battery just continues to get worse and worse and worse and that I don't see changing with all EVs. This is great news for anybody that's huge into internal combustion engines. We're going to see a new V8 coming out over at GM. You know, you're going to see the Chevys, uh, the Corvette, probably the Camaro, even though that's rumored to be going away. I don't, I don't think it's going to be happening. They're getting a new V8 and then Ford is crushing it. They are just keeping their options open. And I'm going to show you guys some of that interview, and it's very interesting to see how Ford is kind of not putting all their eggs in one basket, and they're kind of dabbling and seeing how the, the future kind of pans out for them. And how are you going to be involved? You're going to be developing the motor? You're going to be uh, producing it for the cars? I know you're not just putting stickers on the car. That, that's right. It's, it's not just about marketing and stickers. It's definitely about a technical partnership. It will be called Red Bull Ford Powertrains. And we will work together with Red Bull to develop that power unit based in Milton Keynes uh, across these next three years to be ready to race with the new technical regulations in 2026. And what do you know about those powertrains now? What is the formula? What could fans expect, uh, especially that's different than what's in the cars today? 
Yeah. So in many ways, at a high level, you can look at it and say, well, it's very similar to the hybrid power units they're using today and what they will race in 2026. And at a high level, it is. But uh, the, the details definitely matter. So it's a switch to a fully sustainable fuel for 2026. It's a switch to a fully sustainable fuel for 2026. Uh, it will still use a, a V6 combustion engine portion of it, but the, the contribution of the electric motor will be a much higher percentage of the total power that, that gets put through the car coming from that electric motor. Uh, so it's a real challenge for the development of battery cells to be successful in this environment of the electric motor, integrating that electric motor with a combustion engine, and then the control software. And that's where we think we can we can bring something to, to help this partnership and, and to learn at the same time. So uh, it's gonna be great uh, to have those new power units, the sustainability and the electrification. Formula One cars are a lot more different from street cars than say NASCAR stock cars are. Uh, how does what you're gonna do there translate to your production vehicles? Yeah, that is part of our strategic focus on the power unit, because with that increased electrification in the power unit for 2026, that really allows us to learn about those areas, the electric motor, the, the control software, the battery cell technology. We can learn from that. We can bring technology. We can learn in this very high pressure F1 motorsport space. And from that learning, bring it back and apply it to our road cars. You mentioned the synthetic fuel, it'd be net zero. This is something that's already in development. I know Porsche and Lamborghini are talking about this as a way to save the internal combustion engine uh, car because people like the sound of internal combustion engines, especially when it comes to sports cars. You know, you got the new Mustang, that's a V8. It's not electric coming out now. Uh, is this a goal for Ford? Is this something that might make its way onto the street as well? Synthetic fueled internal combustion engine vehicles in the future? Yeah, ab absolutely, it will. Um, we are committed to full electric vehicles. That is an important part of our future, but we also know we're going to have combustion engine vehicles in different parts of the world for a long time. And we all we want to do that in the most responsible way that we can. So that's part of what attracted us to take this serious look at Formula One was their commitment to the sustainable fuel and to a, a net uh, carbon zero future. And we're doing that in other spaces already. We ran a, a Ranger Raptor at Baja with Shell as a partner just last November using uh, a low carbon fuel. So it's an important emphasis for us to, as we keep these combustion engines to do it in the most responsible way. And this step in Formula One will, will help us as well.